Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing problems from our 2019 Star Math Test Prep Workbook for fifth graders. The section is Numerical Expression, Evaluate and Order of Operations. If you would like to follow along, the fifth grade workbook is available on Amazon to purchase. I'll leave the link in the description box. Remember, fifth graders, why fit in when you were born to stand out? Great quote from Dr. Seuss. Let's get started. Problem number four. A chef used one fourth cup of milk for one recipe. Then she used two cups of milk for each of five more recipes. The total number of cups of milk the chef used can be found by using this expression. 1 fourth plus, in parentheses, 2 times 5. How many cups of milk did the chef use? A, 10 and 1 fourth, or 10 or a quarter and a quarter cup. B, 11 and 1 fourth cup. C, 11 over 4 cups. D, 15 over 4 cups. Most important question, what are we looking for? Even before we start even trying to figure out the problem, we need to understand what we're looking for so that we'll know what information we need and how we need to proceed in order to solve this problem. We are looking for how many cups of milk the chef used. What information can help us find the answer? This problem we are going to use, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or order of operations. For this problem or the expression above, we need to, we have parentheses and also we have addition. Okay, and with please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we see that we need to calculate the parentheses first and then addition comes after that. How do we solve the problem? Like we said before, we first need to calculate our parentheses. In our parentheses, we have 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Step 2, we need to add. So it's 1 fourth plus 10, and that is equal to 10 and 1 fourth, or 10 and a quarter. What is the correct answer? Now that we know our answer, let's look at our answer choices to see which answer has 10 and 1 fourth. Do you see it? If you said A, you are absolutely correct. Correct. <laughs> A is the correct answer. High five. Let's move on to problem number five. What is the value of the expression shown? We have 4 in brackets, 4.5 minus 2 times 1.2. F is 8.4. Answer choice G is 15.6. Answer choice H, 12. And J is 19.2. Now let me see if you remember, what is the first question we need to ask? If you said, what are we looking for? You are absolutely correct. So what are we looking for? We are looking for the value of our expression. Second most important question to ask is, what information can help us find the answer? A 
Again, this is an order of operations problem. So we're gonna use our acronyms. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS, okay? In this expression, we see that we can have parentheses and brackets. We also have multiplication and also subtraction. Don't worry, we will go step by step in order to find the value of this expression. How do we solve this problem? All righty, let's take a look. So first, we said we must do what's inside of the parentheses or brackets. And in the brackets, we see that we have 4.5 minus 2 and then in parentheses, 1.2. Well, anytime you have a number and then immediately after that, there are parentheses, that means we are going to multiply those numbers, okay? So we are multiplying 2 times 1.2. Why do you ask? Because, again, if you have a number and then immediately after the number, there are no other signs, so there's no addition, subtraction, signs, multiplication, or even division. If it's immediately a parenthesis, that means we need to multiply the two numbers together. 2 times 1.2 is equal to 2.4. That's our second line. But look, we still have brackets. So now we're still in our brackets we need to subtract 4.5 minus 2.4, okay? Again, we need to subtract 4.5 and 2.4. 4.5 minus 2.4 is equal to 2.1. We're done with our bracket. Now all we have is a parenthesis sign. Now, even though I changed it to a parenthesis sign, we could have left it as a bracket. Either way, we know we need to do what operation? Multiplication, because remember, if there is no other sign, if there's a number and immediately after that number, there is a parenthesis and a number inside of it, that means you need to multiply those two numbers. So four, times 2.1 is equal to 8.4. That was a lot of work. Give yourself a pat on the back. Now that we have our correct answer, let's look and see which answer choice has 8.4. Can I get a drum roll, please? If you said F is the correct answer, you are right. 8.4 is the value of the expression that we just went over. Now, we have a bonus question. This question is not in the workbook. However, I felt like we needed to have a little bit more work or have another problem where we use order of operations, okay? So if you can grab a piece of paper um, or a scratch piece of paper to work this problem or write it somewhere, let's go over this problem just to make sure we have the order of operations down pat. Okay, so it's four times in brackets, 54 divided by nine minus four in the bracket minus two. Our question is, what operation goes first? A, nine minus four. B, four times 54. C, 54 divided by nine. D, four times two. There's that important question again. What are we looking for? 
We are looking for the operation that goes first for our expression. What information can help us find the answer? Order of operations, of course. Okay, we are going to use PEMDAS to figure out in this expression what operation we need to do first. How do we solve this problem? All right, let's take a look. So we have our PEMDAS, which is parentheses and brackets first, exponents, multiplication and division from left to right, add and subtract from left to right. So in our expression, do we have parentheses or brackets? Yes, we do. So, and they're highlighted in red just to point out, yes, we do have brackets. Within those brackets, we have a division sign and also a subtraction sign. So looking at our PEMDAS, what comes next? Well, the division does 54 divided by nine should be the first operation we do. Now that we know that, let's look at our answer choices to see what is the correct answer choice. Can you tell me? You are absolutely right. The correct answer is C. 54 divided by 9 is the first operation we would do for this expression. Great bonus question! And that is it. Thank you so much for staying to the end of the, the video. I have one more thing to say. Do you live in the Dallas and Fort Worth area? If so, we are having Star Math Test Prep Boot Camp camps for fifth graders. They are on Saturday, January 5th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., January 26th, 1.30 to 4.30 p.m., April 6th, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. We are also having one on Sunday, March 24th, 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. It will be at the Conference Suites in Arlington, 411 West Road to Six Flags Street. Thank you so much for sticking around and working these problems out for with me. Talk to you soon.